Did you know that over 34 million Americans have diabetes and a staggering 90 to 95% of them have type 2 diabetes? If you're one of them or you're looking to prevent it, you'll want to stick around because today we're revealing the top 10 worst foods for diabetics. Stop eating these now to take control of your health. Stop eating these now to improve your blood sugar levels and overall well-being. Let's get started. We're kicking things off with a real sugar trap. Sugary drinks like soda, fruit punch, sports drinks, sweet tea, frappes, milkshakes, and coffee drinks with added syrups can contain upwards of 40 to 50 grams of added sugar in just one serving. Consuming these regularly can dramatically spike blood sugar levels. Over time, the excess sugar intake from these beverages interferes with insulin signaling causing insulin resistance and potentially leading to prediabetes or type 2 diabetes. The spikes and crashes in blood glucose caused by sugary drinks also leave you feeling fatigued. It's best to eliminate them from your diet completely. Opt for unsweetened beverages like water, unsweetened tea, coffee, and seltzer, or add fresh lemon or lime juice to your water for flavor instead. Next up on our list is refined carbohydrates. Refined grains like white bread, crackers, pasta, tortillas, and baked goods made with enriched white flour have had the nutritious bran and germ removed during processing. This leaves only the starchy endosperm, so these refined carbs pass through your digestive system very rapidly and enter your bloodstream quickly, causing a spike in blood sugar. They provide empty calories without beneficial fiber, vitamins, or minerals. Over time, consistently eating these refined carbs can contribute to insulin resistance. Choose 100% whole grain options like whole wheat or multi-grain bread, brown rice, quinoa, steel-cut oats, and whole wheat pasta instead. The fiber in whole grain slows digestion, preventing rapid blood sugar spikes. Let's talk about fried foods. The high saturated and trans fat content of fried foods like french fries, fried chicken, chicken nuggets, tempura, donuts, and other deep fried items can increase inflammation and make cells resistant to the effects of insulin over time raising blood sugar levels. Additionally, the starchy coating used on fried foods further increases the carb count. Even baked goods like donuts contain trans fats from hydrogenated oils that promote insulin resistance. Frying also changes the chemical structure of starchy foods like potatoes, causing them to digest faster and resulting in surging blood sugar after eating. It's best to limit fried foods and instead choose healthier cooking methods like baking, broiling, grilling, roasting, sauteing, or stir-frying using heart-healthy fats. Full-fat dairy products like whole milk, full-fat yogurt, ice cream, and full-fat cheeses are high in saturated fat, containing 2 to 5 grams per serving. Higher intake of saturated fats makes cells resistant to insulin and contributes to insulin resistance over time. Just one cup of whole milk has almost 12 grams of saturated fat more than half the recommended daily value. Non-fat and low-fat dairy options are a much better choice for diabetics. They still provide protein, calcium, vitamin D, and other nutrients without all the extra saturated fat that negatively impacts blood sugar control and heart health. Don't let their small size fool you. Dried fruits pack a sweet punch. Because all the water content is removed, dried fruits like raisins, prunes, dates, and dried apricots contain condensed natural sugars and carbohydrates about three times the amount you'd find in fresh fruits. It's very easy to overeat dried fruits because they're bite-sized. Just a small handful of raisins equates to over 30 grams of net carbs, which can cause blood glucose to surge rapidly after eating. It's best to limit portion sizes to two to three tablespoons of unsweetened dried fruit per day and choose whole fresh fruits like berries, grapefruit, melon, and apples most often. The fiber in fresh fruits helps slow the absorption of sugars into your bloodstream. Packaged sliced deli meats, hot dogs, bacon, and smoked or processed meats are commonly cured, smoked, or otherwise preserved and contain high amounts of sodium, nitrates, and saturated fat. These compounds have been shown to contribute to high blood pressure, inflammation, and poor blood sugar control. The preservatives used in processing also appear to impair insulin secretion over time. Fresh chicken, fish, seafood, and lean red meat are better protein choices than highly processed and packaged meats. Be sure to remove skin and visible fat from poultry and meats and watch your portion sizes. Do you know even with no added sugar, fruit juices made from concentrate or juicing contain simple carbohydrates and natural fruit sugars that digest very rapidly, causing a quick rise in blood glucose. For example, 8 ounces of apple juice can have over 24 grams of sugar and orange juice has around 20 grams per 8 ounce glass. Without the fiber found in whole fruits that help slow absorption, those sugars from the juices flood your bloodstream fast, 
it's better to eat the whole fruits. The act of chewing whole fruits slows down digestion compared to drinking fruit juices. Chips, cookies, crackers, granola bars, and other packaged snacks typically contain refined grains and added sugars. They digest rapidly into glucose and cause a spike in blood sugar not long after eating them. Always check nutrition labels and avoid snacks high in sugar and bad fats. Choose snacks higher in protein and fiber like nuts, hummus with whole grain crackers or veggies, hard-boiled eggs, plain Greek yogurt with berries, or fresh fruit and veggies. The protein and fiber help regulate the blood sugar response. Burgers, fries, nuggets, shakes, and fried food from fast food chains contain extremely high amounts of saturated fat, sodium, and refined carbohydrates that can wreak havoc on blood sugar control. The large portion sizes served in most fast food meals make it even harder to manage blood sugar levels. If you do indulge in fast food occasionally, customize your order. Go bunless or wrapped in lettuce on burgers, skip the fries and soda, and choose grilled chicken, a salad, or vegetable sides instead. Control those portions and avoid the combo meals whenever possible. Don't let sauces and dressings derail your diabetes diet. Many common savory sauces like gravy, alfredo sauce, creamy soups, and Caesar dressing, as well as sweet sauces like caramel, chocolate, and maple syrups contain added sugars that quickly raise blood glucose levels. Creamy salad dressings and sauces like ranch, blue cheese, and Thousand Island are also high in unhealthy fats that promote inflammation. Make your dressings with olive oil, balsamic vinegar, mustard, salsa, or other lower sugar ingredients. Or use lemon juice, hot sauce, or other lower carb alternatives. Watch your portions on condiments and avoid drenching foods whenever possible. There you have it, folks! The Top 10 Worst Foods for Diabetics Managing diabetes starts with making informed choices about what you eat. Focus on lean proteins, healthy fats, whole grains, vegetables, and low glycemic index fruits. Avoid fried foods, sugary beverages, refined carbs, and packaged snacks laden with unhealthy fats and added sugars. Stay tuned for more tips on diabetes-friendly eating and delicious recipes. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Health Licks. Let me know in the comments what topics you want to be covered next. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you in the next video.